Hello and welcome to LifeDetangled.com. My name is Brad and I've got a quick tip for you today about optimizing your Windows shell settings. And basically that just means how to squeak a little bit more speed out of your machine. If you want to go to my computer, right click on it, click on properties, it'll bring up your system properties window here. Uh, you would like you want to go under the advanced tab, go under performance settings, and now you'll see a list of visual effects options that Windows provides by default. Now on this computer everything is selected to be turned on. What I like to do is change it to adjust for best performance and then re-enable just a select few options that keep the computer looking the same but can help out with a little bit of performance increase. Now you'll see a bigger increase in performance if you have limited RAM or limited system memory like 512 megabytes or less. So this really helps out more on an older machine. Now I like to go down to show shadows under mouse pointer. Um, that helps to uh, keep the mouse looking the same. And also smooth edges of screen fonts. And then the bottom ones, use common tasks, use drop shadows, use visual styles. That basically keeps the computer looking the same and the pretty blue buttons and your, your theme options. Then I go to the advanced tab here. And under virtual memory, I click on change. Now on an older machine where the virtual memory hasn't been modified in a long time. This can give you a quick performance boost by sort of defragmenting, if you will, the virtual memory. Uh, people dispute whether or not this works, but from years of practice and experience, I know that it does on some systems really help uh, make it a little more responsive. Now click on System Manage Size and click on Set. And you'll notice it clears those numbers and that will reset your page file or your virtual memory file. And then you click on OK. Oh. Click on OK to that little message and OK again. And then under error reporting on system properties, we want to change that to disable error reporting so that way it doesn't bug you um, about sending reports to Microsoft since nobody really reads those over there, I'm pretty sure. So click OK, OK again. And we don't need to restart the computer now, but you can if you want to. So I'm just going to click no. And that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching.